Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. With the so, um, that just happened because I forgot that you can get demonetized if you say anything bad uh, in the first five seconds. And it's been 20 seconds, so, bitch, we're back. Um, so, today's video, I want to talk about, like, standards society standards and also like um my personal standards in terms of like physique and my goals etc i am currently at the gym i'm about to go in i just wanted to make this quick video um i really like talking about this type of stuff because it just shows my progress and it also like keeps me in check or like i am able to kind of like express how i feel about certain things in my life so oh also this is my gym bag 25 bucks at ross and do you see this sick ass fucking belt i painted that i'm an artist if y'all know um i paint i sculpt i do all the things um hopefully in the future no no, no not hopefully i will be having um my own brand and my merch and also like obviously my own um business for my art so look forward to that in the future anyways back on track um i wanted to talk about how progress sometimes can be so fucking hard to like really stick to or like wanting to create progress you know what i mean because like um i come to the gym three times or six times a week sometimes five depending on how my split works um i go i do legs then chest uh chest and try then um back and bicep and i mix in a little bit of shoulder and obviously legs is everything um and so there'll be times i go more or less during the weeks right um i've been consistently working out like really pushing myself to like my limits and to like to failure also like um this is the first time in my life that I actually really do push myself I have a program that I made for myself like that I'm following something and being consistent right and so for the last two months I have definitely seen changes not necessarily a lot in um like my weight change but I have seen changes my physique and in the way that clothes fit me I've noticed that I've been more confident etc etc right um i will put some pictures up right here this is what i look like right now girl i look snatched as fuck but you know there's still time to progress there's still more to do like i that's not where i want to stay like i want to progress even more than that like i want to be that summer baddie not summer baddie forever baddie like forever for the rest of my life right and in this process, in these two months, I've learned that, you know, it takes time for a long time, like multiple times, actually, I did this thing where it was like a challenge. And basically, you would do like six weeks straight of like a cut, like a strict, 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 strict cut, like straight up, like, basically, I was eating like 1400 calories a day. And that is not normal, girl, like girl, like, I was a psycho for doing that like three times and that's where I will say trigger warning I did develop an eating disorder not even before that before that I had an eating disorder in high school I wouldn't eat and I actually de developed anemia I'll talk about that in another video in the future um just kind of like my eating habits and shit like that and just like how I got to where I am right now um but this is more about physique I will say like obviously food has a big part to play i've been counting my calories tracking my macros one thing i will say is i haven't been super consistent in meeting my protein like i've been more more focused on meeting my uh calories than i have my protein and i think that's why i'm not seeing the progress that i'm wanting to see i am seeing progress but you know everybody wants more you want to get better like there, there's no limit to how much i can progress and so that's why i'm like sometimes i get frustrated with the fact that i'm not progressing within like two weeks or a month and the reality is like our bodies are not meant to fucking change from a circle to a stick in like a month or two like 
that's not reality that's not the way the body works that's not the way the body functions and i know this and i gaslight myself telling myself that like like i know this because i studied kinesiology i studied biology i went to school i went to college like i graduated girl you know what the fuck you're talking about you know this and yet you still gaslight yourself dumb bitch anyways um i really do get frustrated even though like i know these things i like make myself feel like I'm not doing enough and therefore trigger myself to like um not eating and or binging because I'm like well it's not fucking working so might as well just give up but no girl to delete a whole bunch of apps to like fucking record this video anyways what I was saying is that it's inevitable that it's going to take at least a year to fully get to like where you really want to be like you can't expect to be a different person in six months and it if it does happen in six months then that's fucking great you know but like you need to have like realistic expectations of what your fitness journey is going to look like and how long it's actually going to take um that being said you know I need I'm telling myself this right now like I need to listen to myself at this point like girl you need to chill it's only been two months you still have 10 months technically to make a full year and that's when you'll really see if what you're doing is paying off and you have to stop thinking that you have to make all these different types of drastic changes to get there like no you just have to be consistent you have to be committed and you have to be determined be disciplined you know that's where you know the progress comes and that's what I've seen and I personally like I get addicted to progress and seeing progress and so when I'm not super progressing or like I'm not seeing drastic changes like I get stuck and or slumped and or frustrated because I'm not looking the way I want to or having too high of expectations of myself and so I guess what I'm trying to say with this video is like a girl have realistic that realistic expectations write down your goals be committed be determined don't or be disciplined girl like that's one of the most important things like have discipline and that's how you're going to get to your goals stop thinking that you're going to change within like two months and you know this shit is hard to hear like reality is like it's really fucking hard to hear because we want to change like immediately instant gratification like that's what we've learned with this generation and with social media with you know fucking surgeries and with everything that we have in this life right now the way that the world works right now it's just about instant gratification we have to be okay and we have to learn that delayed gratification is where it's at and where we're really gonna be successful and or happy with our lives like it's about the long game like we're not here I'm not here just for today I'm here to fucking be here tomorrow and the next day and the next day you know like I'm here to succeed for the rest of my life and so to be able to do that I have to be consistent daily I can't just be like oh I don't feel like it today no bitch get up go to the gym eat your shit that you need to eat, eat your protein meat, your protein meat, your macros and you're gonna get there eventually like it takes steps to get to the top of the fucking ladder okay literally um but that's it that's all i have for today thank you for joining me on this conversation i almost feel like i should do podcasts at this point because most of the time i'm talking anyways like i might i'm considering that girl i'm considering that but um that's pretty much it for now love you see you later please like and subscribe um bye Go to the gym, girl.